Welcome to this uh, special episode, special session of Rising Pakistan, in which I'm being joined by two uh, honorable guests, uh, Joanna Fredrickson, who is the Deputy Head of Mission, Australian High Commission here in Pakistan, here in Islamabad. Good morning. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I also have on sets today uh, Chris Kay, who is the representative and country director of World Food Program in Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, Welcome Chris. Welcome, salam. All right. So <clears throat> uh, today, <clears throat> these two guests, uh, of course, we, I'll be talking to them. Uh, on lots and lots of uh, other things as well but our main focus is going to be whole wheat fortification and uh, uh, when I say fortification in which uh, in Urdu we uh, we say like, like nutrition ghazayat, you know ghazayat, which is nutrition and everyone uh, the government of Pakistan the provincial governments all over the world the experts are saying nutritious value of whatever you eat is more important uh, than how much you eat so that is uh, the main the main point but why the the Australian government is uh, chipping in to this cause and what is world food program what are they doing in Pakistan and why this fortification uh, project is being implemented in Rawalpindi and Islamabad so we'll have uh, details on that but first of all I'd like to start with Chris and ask him uh, tell me very briefly Chris about uh, world food program uh, your mission internationally and your footprint your kind of work that you guys are doing in Pakistan sure well thanks very much for having having me on having us both on but um, WFP is an extraordinary organization part of the United Nations family um, we're the world's largest humanitarian organization. Um, we provide food assistance uh, to, last year, over 110 million people around the world mm -hmm. uh, in 82 different countries. Um, we're known as, the, uh, as I said, a humanitarian organization, so we're responding to critical situations, um, for the most part, in, in, in really dire situations, such as in Yemen and South Sudan and, and some of these other war-torn countries, Syria and so on. Um, and where food is, is a really critical part of being able to sustain um, the civilian population in, a, in, in, in very, very difficult circumstances. Um, last year we were um, uh, very um, honoured to be given the Nobel Peace Prize um, because of our work in, in supporting civilian populations in, in um, positions of conflict. So, well, congratulations um, on that. We're very proud of that. Thank you. Right. So, so tell me about uh, your work in Pakistan uh, generally and also a little bit about this particular project. Sure. Um, well, Pakistan, we've been in Pakistan for over 40 years. Um, and, uh, you know, our program, of course, has evolved considerably over that period. Um, I think we're probably best known, again, for our humanitarian response work. Um, we were uh, very significant contributors in responding to the floods in 2010. Um, uh, we're a major provider of food assistance to people affected by earthquakes and, and, uh, and so on. Last year, uh, the floods in Sindh, we were uh, very active. Um, so that, that's often what uh, a lot of people in Pakistan um, uh, understand us as, as a, as a responder to, to emergencies. But increasingly, um, we're providing more and more technical support to government to help with strengthening food security generally across the country and with an increasing focus on, on strengthening nutrition uh, amongst the population because that's, as you said in your introduction, a major priority for the government. Absolutely. Uh, Joanna Fredericks, uh, Fredrickson is with us and she is the deputy uh, head of uh, mission Australian High Commission here in Islamabad why is Australian High Commission uh, I would say interested in issues like these and tell me about your collaboration with World Food Program and also uh, you're very closely working uh, on other development issues in here in mm -hmm. Pakistan as well. Now, Australia has been a very proud um, partnership with Pakistan in providing development and humanitarian assistance over many decades. Um, we've, we've focused on areas where we have particular strengths like agriculture, water security, maternal health uh, and education. <coughs> and on the humanitarian side, we've worked with World Food Program quite a lot. Uh, the floods in 2010, the earthquake in 2005, and of course, most recently, we work with WFP in providing emergency food packages during the Balochistan snow disaster. Right. So we, we've got a long collaboration with World Food Program, particularly in helping vulnerable communities mm -hmm. in some challenging areas like the former tribal areas and uh, remote areas of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. True. And uh, we've worked with WFP also 
um, helping them expand their impact, particularly with getting other partnerships like with the government of Pakistan mm -hmm. under the ESUS program, which has been so good at supporting livelihoods during the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, ESUS program is also now uh, not really replicated, but people are talking about it in other parts of the globe as well mm -hmm. uh, a, a, as, a, as a good example uh, on, 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 such, uh, on handling or solving such problems. Yes. All right, so uh, now coming to, to, the, to this fortification project itself, uh, why, uh, Chris, why Rawalpindi Islamabad? Well, it, I, largely because of ease of access. Uh, initially, obviously, we're, we're, we're based here in, in uh, our headquarters is based here in Islamabad, with, close with government. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, ostensibly we have a, um, uh, this effort is, is really just a pilot. Um, and to understand exactly how easy it is to be able to have an impact with um, the support to these small scale grinders, the chuckies, yeah. um, and to, to understand what the, uh, the take up can be of, of fortified flour. Um, the intent is very much to expand it and uh, the evidence that we've had since we've been going is very very positive and exciting and I think that this is something certainly that we can take to a much greater scale across the country. So this will be uh, scaled up from Rawalpindi Islamabad to, to other parts of Very much the is country. the intention yes. Uh, so, so, the, so the idea is that we add nutritious value to the flour and then people can use it. What is actually added into it? Okay, so there's a, a special ingredient called, it's a premix, um, and um, it, it's uh, very carefully uh, produced in order to ensure that we get the right balance of uh, different nutrients. Um, so folic acid and iron and, uh, and, and a variety of other uh, different nutrients, which mm -hmm. are, are critical for, um, for health. Um, and you know, this builds a, a much greater value from a nutritional perspective to what is a fundamental staple for the population of Pakistan. So, because everybody's eating chapati, yeah. um, though um, uh, chapati on its own, and particularly if it's just um, simple grain flour, you know, doesn't give you a lot of nutritious value. So, um, if we can utilize that basic to be able to build up those nutrients, it's, uh, it's obviously a very good thing. And, uh, and of course, uh, we have heard that it's good for uh, the, the lactating mothers, children, and the elderly. So, uh, Jana, do you think uh, the Pakistani society and community, they will, they will buy this uh, notion and they, they are up for, uh, you know, going for nutritious food rather than more of it, like the quantity versus the quality, what, what they are eating, rather than how much they are eating. Yes, well, I had the, the pleasure of visiting one of the small grinders just in the last couple of days. All right. And we spoke to him about how the take-up was. Mm -hmm. Well, they showed us the operation. You know, it's all very good and, and how the, the pre-mixed extra vitamins or essential nutrients were added and how they test it to make sure it's, it's the right strength. And he said that amazingly, well, the first thing about it, it's so good because they used the whole grain. Uh-huh. So it's not super refined flour. All the goodness of the actual wheat grain is left in, plus the nutrients added. And despite it being a little bit more expensive, he said his sales have gone up by like 30, 40, 50 percent or more. Oh, really? Interesting. Despite it being slightly more expensive. And we spoke to one of the, the program workers who has been very good at getting communication out to the community about how good the flour is. And it's so important to get the right Interesting. Right, uh, nutrients at such a young age and for expectant mothers because it affects health for the rest absolutely, of your life. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Tell me about, uh, do, do you, have you guys experienced the real Pakistani chapati? You must have. Of course. Of course? Of course. No Absolutely. match. Uh, no match with N no match, you know, all over the anywhere world. Anywhere else in the all world, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, for I know sure. the, the Iranian bread is also good. The Afghan bread, I, I'm a big fan of the Afghani naan. Yeah. But I think the Pakistani yeah. chapati is. It's, it's really nice. What kind of uh, Pakistani cuisine do you like, Joanna? Like, have you, have you tried biryani or something else? Yes, it's a little hot for <laughs> me. I have to get used to it. I know. But I love the fruit here. It's absolutely fantastic. The fruit? Yes, mangoes, cherries, <sighs> peaches, plums. It's just been amazing. Exactly. I mean, again, no match of Pakistani mangoes. You know, I was yes. 
And we're, in Britain, we're importing we, them to Australia now. Oh, you are? Yes, okay, just great. very recently, yes. Great, interesting, interesting. So it's a good news because our show is being watched on PDB Global in Australia as well right now. So good news for P Pakistanis uh, over there that yes. you can get Pakistani mangoes in Australia now as well. Uh, we will have a quick short break and uh, we will come back. Uh, Chris and Joanna both are with me and we will talk uh, on the topic a little more and also I would like to ask them about their experience in Pakistan. Have they traveled around? Which part of the country have they traveled? How do they see Pakistani as a nation and as a country? Stay with me. This is Rising Pakistan. Welcome back to Rising Pakistan. Rising Pakistan, we are here today. We are here today. John R. Fredrickson and Chris K. We are doing this in a way that we can increase the art of fortification and how can we increase the power of the art? This is the government of Pakistan and the World Food Program, which is the government of the United Nations. یونائیڈ نیشنز کا ایک ادارہ ہے یہ کس طرح سے ایک پائلٹ پروگرام کے تحت راول پنڈی اور اسلام آباد کی جو 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 چھوٹی ملز ہیں جس کو ہم آٹا چکی کہتے ہیں جو آٹا چکی سے جا کے ہم آٹا لے کے آتے ہیں ان چکیوں کے ساتھ راول پنڈی اسلام آباد کی چکیوں کے ساتھ انہوں نے کام کیا اور آٹے کی غزائیت کو بڑھانے کا وہ کام ہے جس کے حوالے سے جوانا نے ہمیں بتایا کہ ان چکی کے مالکان نے ان کو بتایا کہ ان کی سیلز بھی بڑی ہیں کیونکہ لوگ اب اپنے بچوں کو اپنی ماں کو بزرگوں کو نیٹریشس غزائیت سے بھرپور آٹھا دینا چاہتے ہیں سو جس وانٹی تو ٹیک ایوری ون آن بورڈ ان ادو ایس وال سو سو کریس ٹیل می اباؤٹ وٹ آدھر پروجیکٹس آئیس ورل فوڈ پروگرام ڈوئنگ ان پاکستان آدھر دن دس فورٹیفیکیشن Yeah, well, I mean, this is just one component part of a suite of things that we're involved in in supporting and strengthening nutrition across, uh, across the country. Um, as Joanna mentioned, we have a, a very close relationship, a, a partnership with um, uh, ESAS, um, where we're actually providing uh, special nutritious food for children under two and, and pregnant and lactating mothers in, in uh, uh, 50 or so what we call facilitation centers in, in, in districts all over Pakistan. Um, and that's part of an effort to ensure that, again, um, children under two, but um, uh, get the requisite nutritious inputs at an early age. Mm. It's so important for their cognitive growth um, to be given that kind of nutritious input. Um, um, without that, um, uh, children, people are stunted. Now, yeah. stunting isn't just about height. Uh, it's, it really is stunting your cognitive, cognitive ability. abilities. Um, yeah. So, you know, the government investing in this space is terribly important for the future of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. um, the smarter and the brighter the kids are, the better chance the country has to, to really evolve and develop and, and, uh, uh, and, and, and lead in the, in the world. So this is a, a really important area of investment for us. Interesting. So uh, when, when we talk of uh, fortification of uh, whole wheat, Uh, so does the, Jonah, the, uh, or Chris, maybe you can add as well, does the color or the taste of uh, atta or flour change uh, with this fortification? Or should, should I, f as a consumer, should I expect that my one chapati in taste will be different from the other chapati? Uh, I don't think the taste is very much different. I think what people found a bit different was the whole grain being used. So yeah. all the goodness of the wheat grain and that changed the color slightly, but they've worked out how to grind it a bit more finely so it's not too much different from normal flour. From no normal yeah. flour. As a consumer myself, I think m more, it, more red it is, uh, more uh, attractive it is for me. I don't know, you know, where we say it's, it's more red because uh, the carbohydrates and all that, you know, the, the nutritionists these days all over the world are saying that less carbs and whole wheat is mm -hmm. more healthy. And uh, so, okay, so um, Chris, uh, when you're working with these mill owners, what, what is their plan? Uh, is this, this is a short-term project, this is a pilot project. Mm -hmm. So are they going to make it part of their work ethics and work, work lifestyle? Yeah, sustainability is a, obviously a key question. Um, the premix is, is at the moment we're providing that, that's part yeah. of our commitment. But um, in future? But in future, that's it. So th there is a marketing issue here. 
um, ensuring that the take-up is, is, is real, um, that people do appreciate the additional value of the nutritious flour, um, and are willing to pay the, uh, the additional you know, one or two rupees more for the quality. And the evidence is proving to be the case, that which is really exciting. Um, people are looking now, uh, according to the chuckies that I went to visit the, a few of them last week, um, and, and restaurant owners are interested in taking it and so on and so forth. So it's becoming more of a, uh, of a standard. This is really our hope, um, and uh, where people recognize the value of, of, of a more nutritious flour rather than this clean, white um, flour, which actually doesn't really do you as uh, very much good. Absolutely. So. I, I know families, even in, at, in my, my mother, uh, used to specifically go to one particular chakki in Rawalpindi all her life. I mean, we, we, we live in Islamabad, but she would make, a, make an extra effort to go to Rawalpindi, to that chakki, and buy uh, the whole wheat uh, flour. I mean, there are and many, many other families who, who, who are doing this. So yeah. I think that's what, that was a very intelligent idea to reach out to these small mill owners and take them on board because they are actually linked and rooted to the communities. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that in future when you up scale it up uh, to other parts of the, of the country, uh, I think this is going to be uh, you know, taken up uh, and this, this, the, the very idea is going to be bought by the communities really easily. Yeah, we, you want we, to add something? Well, yeah, well, we certainly hope so. I mean, we know that 70% of, of, uh, of, of domestic flour is bought from Chuckies. So 70%? 70%. Um, so, which is extraordinary. So, if we're able to really spread in that Pakistan in or Pakistan, or it's ah, in Pakistan, yeah. seventy percent of flour is bought through the chuckies, through yeah. the yeah. small local chuckies. No? Exactly. That's so, we huge. need to. Uh, I mean, there's obviously commercial flour as well, and we're doing. Uh, we're certainly covering that as part of uh, our work with the National Nutrition Alliance. There is a, a body which is focused on this too. So, interesting, interesting. All right, guys. So, tell me about uh, tell me about Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Pakistanis. They're very friendly. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Very warm. Uh, but you arrived uh, only uh, some months ago, and yes, uh, these have been COVID times, so yes. you must not have had the um, chance to visit around. Uh, well, the well country. despite our standard operating procedures that yeah. we've had to to live with in the High Commission, um, I've managed to visit the Katas Raj temples. I'm very interested oh, yeah. in in history and ancient history. Oh, so yeah, Katas Raj. Yeah. Yes, and uh, Taxila. Taxila, yeah. Which is course, very interesting. Yes, that's such that's a mix a, of cultures. Exactly, and that's our real sometime. history. That's and we are so yes. proud of that. Uh, but uh, Chris, I think you've been here in Pakistan many, many years ago. You've I lived here. I lived here 20 years ago. Yes, with my young family, um, and we had a we had a marvelous time here. I was um, my my kids uh, still know very much as we were talking earlier that the best mangoes come from Pakistan <laughs> because they remember it from that day. And we've had the opportunity because I've worked for the for the UN for that amount of time mm -hmm. um, to sample mangoes in a number of other countries. No question. Pakistan no mangoes, the best in the world. Pakistan <laughs> mangoes, the best in the world, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, tell me, uh, uh, Chris, how much or in what way do you think Islamabad has changed in these 20 years? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to live in um, uh, close to the Margala Hills. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that area of, of uh, Islamabad really hasn't changed very much at all. Yeah, I, sure. I was really pleasantly surprised coming back. I mean, they, you've got more security uh, checkpoints, but um, those are, are all beginning to um, be taken away. I think and more disappear and more slowly. disappear slowly. slowly. <laughs> um, I think the biggest change has been in Raupindi. Um, driving down to Raupindi, I don't recognize it from 20 years ago. It's, it, the, the, uh, the growth and the development has been extraordinary. Um, but Islamabad itself um, it, you know, really hasn't changed very much at all. I'm still seeing the same shopkeepers <laughs> in some of the markets that were there 20 years ago. It's lovely. Right, yeah. but I miss uh, cycling around Islamabad. There are much more cyclists now in, in Islamabad, but as a child, 20, or oh, not 20, but maybe 40 years ago when I used to uh, cycle around the city, yeah. uh, I, I still say that uh, I'm from Islamabad and I miss my village, Islamabad. It was a small little town, but now it's, it's huge, it's big. All right, so towards the end of the conversation, Joanna, maybe, uh, what would you like to tell to uh, lactating mothers and mothers and children who are watching my show right now? Uh, why should they use this uh, fortified wheat flour? What is in this flour uh, for 
for the mothers because they are the decision makers in the household. What is to be cooked? Where, to be, where do we get it from? So what would you like to tell them? Why should they uh, buy the fortified wheat, whole wheat flour? Well, well, flour is such an essential item and, and bread is you know, one of the basic foodstuffs. So it's such an easy way of getting the right nutrients. So yep, young lactating mothers, expectant mothers, children really need things like iron and folic acid and zinc and B12. So they're essential and this is such an easy way to get the right nutrients to your family at the right time of their lives, which will set them up with good health for the rest of their lives. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, just, just a quick <laughs> Uh, wrap up of, of, of the points in Urdu. Uh, ke jo, uh, fortified uh, wheat flour has Satyu. This is the first part of the zinc, iron, B12, and folic acid. This is the first part of the food. 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 Aapki ghizaiyat ko badha diya jata hai. Uske andar yeh chaar chizhen mila ke. Zinc, uh, folic acid, B12 or iron. Or yeh ek pilot program ke tahad Australian High Commission or World Food Program uh, ke ne Rawalpindi Islamabad ki kuch chakkiyo ke andar us aate ko fortify kiya, uh, fortification uski ki aur uske bohat zabardast nataij a rahe hai. Log ja ke chakkiyo pe fortified आटा मांगते हैं जो कि अभी हमें क्रिस ने बताया कि इसको अब अप स्केल भी किया जाएगा यानी अभी सिर्फ ये पायलट प्रोग्राम था रावलपिंडी और इस्लामाबाद में लेकिन अब इसको पाकिस्तान के मुस्तकबिल में फ्यूचर में पाकिस्तान के दूसरे शहरों और टाउन्स तक भी ले जाया जा सकता है क्रिस माय मे बी वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट इफ इफ समबडी इज वाचिंग माय शो राइट नाउ नॉट इन रावलपिंडी एंड इस्लामाबाद मे बी इन in Multan or Vihari or Sakhar or any other part of the of, of, of the country and he's a mill owner he's into this business and he is getting attracted to what we are talking about what sh what should he or she do it well I, I think the there's a national fortification alliance um, you know what we're doing and what we're um, showing and presenting today I think is demonstration that how relatively easy it is to, to, to make a difference. Um, we need to ensure that it's um, a program which is not just um, provided for by international organizations, but one which is provided for by, by the government. So, uh -huh. um, you know, of course, that's the ultimate aim, um, that we can have a, a, a truly national fortification program which supports all the chuckies throughout the world uh, throughout the world throughout Sh Pakistan, throughout Pakistan. Um, and um, the extent to which we can as international actors promote that support that um, of course that's what this is really all about so um, uh, get in contact with the National Fortification Alliance um, show your interest and uh, you know let's build up a, a, a serious momentum around this this movement be exactly great. Because most of the times, uh, since I'm uh, also in the development sector for the last many, many years, what I observe is that sometimes these uh, initial projects, donor-driven projects, uh, they die down once uh, the pilot phase is yeah. over. So the ownership of the mill owners themselves, the ownership yeah. of the communities themselves, the demand has to be generated, only then the mill owners. So, so for that, I think the will and passion to work towards this end is, is immensely important. W one final point, I mean, the good news is uh, that the government is extremely committed to, to, to this work. I mean, it's been made very clear, I think, that uh, addressing the issue of stunting is a very, very high priority. So, um, you know, I think the, the willingness is there. We just need to build that momentum. The community okay. demand is there too. Yeah. Yeah. The community demand, as you said you, that you visited yes. the mill, the community yeah. demand is, is increasing I would say it's not there maybe it's increasing because of course with, with the community so know that this is available how would they go to a, a to a Chucky and and ask for it uh, Joanna thank you very much Chris thank you very much thank you and uh, thank you, it, it has been a pleasure to have you uh, on my sets and good luck and uh, see you soon at some other uh, platform doing some good work uh, when it comes to nutrition for mothers children and elderly of pakistan all the best thank you thank, thank you aapka bahut bahut shukriya aapne rising pakistan ke is special episode mein uh, 
میرا اور میرے خاص مہمانوں کا ساتھ دیا بات کو مختصر آپ تک اسی طرح پہنچائیں گے کہ جو غذائیت ہے جو نیوٹریشس ویلیو ہے یہ بھی دیکھیں کہ آپ کچھ بھی کھا رہے ہیں آپ آم کھا رہے ہیں آپ انار کھا رہے ہیں آپ آٹا آلو جو بھی چیز ہے یہ دیکھیے کہ آپ کے اور آپ کے بچوں کے لیے اس کی نیوٹریشس ویلیو کیا ہے اور وہ آٹا جس کے اندر یہ انگریڈینٹس جس کو فورٹیفیکیشن کہتے ہیں جس پروسیس سے گزرا وہ آپ کی صحت کے لیے آپ کے بزرگوں کی صحت کے لیے بچوں کی صحت کے لیے بہت ضروری ہے بہت اہم ہے آپ اپنی جب چکی پہ جائیں تو فورٹیفائڈ فلاور کو ڈیمانڈ کریں اس کے اس کے بارے میں جاننے کی کوشش کریں اور اس کو استعمال کریں بہت بہت شکریہ زندگی رہی پھر ملیں گے اپنا بہت سا خیال کیجیے رکھیے گا خدا حافظ اینڈ گڈ بائے